Hello, my name is Paul, and I want to take you through some of the new 3D features and capabilities that we've just added to Photoshop. In fact, you can see right here, this looks like a still image. That is actually animation that's playing through in Photoshop. Okay, so very cool that that's happening, and that would be great. Obviously, you, or maybe not so obviously, you can add video to Photoshop, but check this out. Even as I dive into this, this is actually a 3D model, okay, that I brought in. So I can jump in, position this any way I want, if I want them to come at a different angle, or even if I wanted to adjust the lighting, I can do that actually all in Photoshop. With that 3D layer selected, going into 3D, I can adjust the point light. So I wanna make sure maybe it's coming from a different position more from the window and move it that way, however you wanna do that, and you can see how I can adjust that content. And at that point, what I can do is I can render out that video. So, 3D animation in Photoshop. Now, how did that get here? Because that actually was not made in Photoshop. I could do some modeling in here, but typically that's gonna come from another location. So, just with the new file, I can create a new 3D layer from a file and just to show you all the different file types, and we've been adding to this uh, quite a bit lately, okay, STL, 3D printing, uh, clear up here to the Collada file format, which gives you that rigging and animation. So that's what that Paladin attack is. That Those are all the movements and rigging and animation for that file as I bring it in. And again, this is just a quick example, create a video timeline, Let's just kind of click through, and sure enough, there's our awesome guy. I have that animation. In fact, I can start to adjust him and, you know, take a look at sort of the different positions I want to for this guy. And say, for instance, I kind of like this strike. I'm digging that strike. In fact, what do I want to do at this point? Well, I'd love to 3D print it. So, really, with that scene selected, jumping in here, let's not forget 3D printing. Uh, whether you have a 3D printer or not, you can always change this to Sculptio or Shapeways. So changing it to Shapeways, I can make it gold-plated, plastic, whatever I want to do, and get that position just right, and go ahead and print that out by hitting print, okay? And even going beyond that, if I have actually painted on this character, because there's a chance that I can jump in and, you know, do my painting on this character, like I'm doing right now, I'm just painting with black. Okay, not terribly exciting, uh, but you can add all your materials and textures in Photoshop, and then from there, you can do 3D, and you can export out this 3D layer, and at this point, I can export it out to that same folder if I want to, to the desktop, but the cool thing is, is I can jump in here and save it out as a PDF. Here's my 3D PDF being saved to the desktop, just calling it 3D. At this point, it will save that out as a PDF file for review, because what I would do as a 3D artist or designer is I would save it out accordingly, and then I can open it up if I'm, say, uh, the manager and check out uh, this particular file. You can see our character right there and adjust the views if I want to as well and start to see sort of uh, all the different manipulations I can do with this 3D model all from Photoshop, and I'm just grazing the surface. Very cool what you can do. Check it out today.